Kasi sa ko yun yung cream niya. Tsaka yung cheese. Tsaka yung cheese. Tsaka yung cheese. usual na tawag sa recipe na to. So, ito yung version ko. So, you might think na medyo mabusisi siya, but promise, once I take manyo, it's all worth it. So, let's begin. So, una natin kailangan is we need to get yung tiger prawns o yung malalaking prawns like this. I got mine from Shaka, Manila. You can check them out sa Instagram. Uh, friends ko yung owners. So, I'm very happy dun sa mga products nila. They also have mga oysters. So, this has been washed. Nahugasan na po ito. And then, you want to cut yung mga legs. Ganyan. Then, you wanna make sure na malinis yan. That. Clean it out. Kailangan natin siya i-cut ng pa butterfly. So, you can use yung scissors nyo from kitchen. Or, you can use like a sharp knife. So, kung ito... So, start here. You wanna cut. Don't go all the way yet. Slowly lang. Ayan. Cut nyo lang siya sa gitna. Like, split it open. Okay? Dahan-dahan na. Then, open it like that. Okay? And then, kapag may vein, you want to remove that black thing out. Okay? So, yun na yun. Na butterfly nyo na siya. Okay? You can have a knife also like this. So, ganyan lang. Okay? Okay. So, if I'm gonna use a sharp knife, so start from here, make a small incision. Ang technique dito dapat matalas. Kasi kung hindi, masisira yung prawns. Slice it in the middle. Butterfly cut. Okay? And then, open it up lang. And then, the next thing that you have to do is tanggalin nyo yung laman niya. Slowly, you don't want to break the shells. You want to keep it intact. So, dapat buo yan. So, dahan-dahan nyo siyang tanggalin. Okay? Dahan-dahan na. Be patient. And then, even dun sa tail, don't break the tail. Just pull it out like that. Okay? There. Okay. So, kailangan ganito siya. So, the shells should remain intact. So, pag na-remove nyo na lahat ito, you want to chop it. So, keep the shells intact like that. And then, lagay nyo lang yan sa tray. Set it aside. And then, ito, the prawns, you want to chop it. Rough chop lang, mga ganyan. Okay, don't copy me. Get a bigger knife. <laughs> Sinairapan ko yung buhay ko. So, gagawin nyo yan sa lahat. Do this with the rest of the prawns. So, ito na yung na-chop natin. Uh, we are going to cook this right now. So, let's heat up the pan. And then, share oil. Iba nilalagyan ng butter. Pero, okay na ito. Ikaw, uh, it's up to you. Kung gusto nyo. Alright, so I have now hot oil. And then, in the pan. Make sure mainit na yung oil, ha? Before you saute yun. So, we have garlic. Lagi ko minimension to. You, you've watched some of my videos already. I love garlic. Parang yun ang kailangan lagi kung meron at home. Dami yung pwede mong magawa talaga yung guide with just garlic. And it really changes the taste ng food. Sarap. Try nyo kahit potatoes. French fries. Sa ganyan ng fresh grated garlic. Sarap. Okay, so pag slightly brown na yung garlic, not burnt ha, add a white onion. If you don't have white onions, whatever you have at home will do. Pwede na yan. Okay? And then 
the sauté until translucent, until medyo maging mas clear pa siya. Now, let's add our chopped prawns. Then, make sure na lutong-luto siya. It has to turn orange. Or like a uh, pinkish orange. Now, yung prawns natin has turned into this light orange color. I'll add the chopped mushrooms and our all-purpose cream. And then now we season. Season with salt. Make sure well seasoned yan. And of course, some pepper. Okay. So what I've um, shown you now is a very basic recipe. It's very easy. Now, it's up to you. You can also add other spices that you like. You can add dill. Yung iba would add like thyme or oregano. So, be adventurous. Pagdating sa cooking, that's a own personal preference nyo naman yan eh, kung ano yung gusto nyo. Or, kunwari dito sa recipe na to, sometimes, ang ginagawa ko, I'll add chili flakes. Okay? But since kakain yung mga kids ngayon, hindi ko muna lalagyan. So, be creative. You know, you can always um, test naman eh, di ba? Sa cooking, ganyan. Parang trial and error yan. Sometimes, hindi nyo makuha agad. But, if you keep on doing it, masasayan na kayo. And then, you'll be able to invent na rin yung mga uh, taste o kaya yung mga hinahanap nyo, lalabas din siya eventually. So, just let it simmer for a bit. Siguro like just a few minutes para lang mag-thicken yung sauce. Okay? Now, you can also already add cheese here. Kung gusto nyo na sobrang cheesy siya, pwede na rin kayo mag-add ng cheese dito while in the sauce. Pero if I'm not gonna do that, I'll just add later cheese on top mamaya. Ibubud ko. Ibubudbud ko on top. So, ang maganda dito sa dish na to or sa recipe na to is you can play around with it. Marami kayong mga pwedeng gawin. So, yung spicy, matamis, o herby. Just go ahead, di ba? And then, don't forget, share nyo rin sa akin kung ano yung mga nagawa nyo. Kasi, I'm sure, meron din ako matututunan from you guys. Diba? And just want you to know that hindi ko man nasasagot lahat ng comments but I try to read them personally and I'm thankful dun sa mga nagsasend sa akin ng photos na nagawa nila yung certain recipe and nagustuhan ng pari. Okay? So para sa mga newbie na in the kitchen, you know, just let it go. Relax. Nobody has a right to tell you na mali yan or tama yan kasi version mo yan eh. So, mag-explore ka lang. Be creative. Diba? Ang dami, yun ang masarap sa kusina. Kaya ako na siguro nagustuhan yung ano eh, um, cooking. Kasi ang dami-dami natin pwedeng gawin. I'm just going to taste it first. Kaya kasi kailangan before natin ilagay siya dun sa shells, you wanna make sure na okay siya. I think this is okay na. And then I'll just add a little spring onions. Konti lang. Ito nga yung sinasabi ko. At this time, you can also add dill or other herbs na gusto nyo. And then, the rest of the chopped spring onions, I'll add later. Okay, so we are ready to assemble uh, or to fill our prawn shells. Now, mukha kong maraming filling kasi I have more uh, prawns there, shells. So, lagyan nyo siya ganyan inside. Ang sarap yung maraming ano prawn chunks. Masarap din to pag maanghang. Tapos lagyan nyo ng ano, sriracha sauce or hot sauce. Sarap na gugutom na ako. Actually, yung filling itself, masarap din to as a pasta sauce. Pwede nyo, you can make a uh, pasta and then ito na, ito na yung pinaka sauce. Diba? 
It's so good. Pwede na siyang ulam actually. So ito is something lang medyo mas fancy or like a nicer way of presenting it. And then don't overfill it ha kasi lalagyan pa natin ng cheese sa ibabaw yan. Grated quick melt. Pag sa ganito, better talaga to use uh, cheese that easily melts. Pwede rin, you can use mozzarella. If you like. You can use a combination of cheeses. Nako, ang sarap nito. Okay, almost done. And excited na rin ako makita yung mga version ninyo. Okay. So, I still have some extra filling here. So, I'll just finish up. And then, bibake na natin this one para makita nyo na. Ready na tayo to bake this. Make sure yung oven nyo is at 350 degrees. And we can bake this for um, maybe 15, 15 minutes. Kasi I want to make sure na orange yun na natin dito na. So, nakaset muna yan at 15, pero let's see kung maabot ng more. We just wanna make sure na luto yung shell so that you won't have that malansa flavor. Or tip nga, if you have more time, you can pre-cook the shells na by sauteing it um, gently para hindi siya masira. Or you can also bake it. Bake it for siguro mga 5, 5 to 10 minutes at 400. Of course, with the rice. We're gonna eat it there, Papa. But now, rice. Did you taste it? Hmm. Hello. Hello, Sasabi. Sobra sarap. Sobram. Lasang lasa ko yun 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 Thank you, Kuya Mick. Kuya Mick is the one taking our video. Ginger! Okay, guys. Okay, so um, we hope that you like our recipe for today. Just let us know what else you'd like us to feature. Kung may mga comments pa kayo, uh, we'll be happy to share it with you. And also, uh, if you notice, I already changed uh, yung uh, YouTube channel name. So, my name. But don't worry kasi lahat ng Kusinika recipes naka-playlist yan. So, you can check it out. It's all in one playlist, all the recipes. Uh, the reason for me changing the YouTube name is because I'd like to share more things with you hindi lang kukuro recipes. So, soon, Kaylin, I will be sharing about cleaning, about taking care of the home, and then Kuya Mick also will be sharing also about homeschool and other things. So just let us know kung ano pa po yung gusto nyong um, ma matutunan or malaman. Or uh, maybe you can share also some tips para din. Kami din will also learn from you guys. So again, God bless you guys. Ingat po kayo lagi and always stay safe. Bye! So good. Mick, say bye! Bye! <laughs> Ah, I know, I'm going to